Hey guys, um, so I actually want to do a video response for Caramel 100% uh, video about how to know when your relationship is over. Being as a girl that has had um, broken up with someone in the past and had kind of indicated in many different ways I didn't want to be with the person and was in denial for a long time that I just had to be like I don't want to be with you don't you get it if they don't touch you or if they want to be around you or if they don't like flirt with you in the little playful ways you guys used to flirt with each other just to show you that he loves you he cares about you he wants to play with you if he doesn't want to do that he doesn't want to be with you If he blatantly looks at other women right in front of you, complete disrespect and a sign that it's over. We have instincts. It's really instinctual. Every woman knows it. It's what they do with that information and how they deal with it that causes heartache and problems and just complete sadness within um, your first relationship your first relationship or maybe your second you're really early in the dating um, the dating scene that you get in relationships so you fall deeply in love and you don't know how to let go of it because you're just so embedded into that one relationship you put your heart and soul into it and you don't want to think to yourself that it's over I know people it's been in relationships for four or five years and that last year, the whole year is completely miserable for them. They don't want to let go of it because they're in love. And that's not the attitude. Their personality changes completely. If you met this person and they were bubbly and upbeat and then now they're just like, <laughs> just a torture to be around, they don't want you. And I know it's harsh to hear. person doesn't want someone that either are going to bring them down or blatantly disrespect them and when you don't want to be with somebody it's exactly what you do i remember in my last relationship um i completely turned every situation around to make him the bad guy if we were to go to mcdonald's i would be like why are you chewing like that seriously you are like well i'm sorry no 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 there's no sorry here okay I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm going home. It was like that. Like literally every little thing he did annoyed me. But it wasn't about him. It was more about me. I didn't want to be in it. I didn't want him anymore. As sad as that is, it happens to a lot of people. If he puts you down a lot, that's that's not good. Um, if he hardly ever smiles anymore when he's around you, he's not happy, he doesn't want to be there. They were a joy to be around, now they're either not hardly around, or when they're around they're miserable. That's an indication they don't want to be with you. If they don't compliment you anymore, they don't see any good qualities about you. They don't want to be with you. It's evident that when a guy physically is um, separated from you, it can not only be lack of compliments, it could also be sexually. Um, you guys just aren't going that way anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's over. All you need for them to do is change one little thing and they refuse to change that one little thing about them not even change just can you empty the garbage you know tomorrow no I'm not you know it's just little things that they could do to make you happy that they're not doing anymore they're not keeping their promises they just don't want to make you happy and in turn not making you happy is kind of driving you out of the relationship Men, especially men, want you to break up with them. They don't want to break up with you. They hate that. That gives them more work. 
So what they're going to do, they're going to treat you as mean as possible. They're going to blatantly disrespect you. They'll probably text or call girls right in front of you for you to break up with them. But a lot of girls don't do it. And that's where the problems come in. Another indication is your head and your heart are in two completely different places. Now, again, women know when a man is cheating. They know, they have instincts, believe me. Men don't have those things. Again, believe me. But when you know a man is cheating on you and you do nothing about it, you're creating more problems for yourself later on down the line. And when a man cheats on you, the relationship is over from that point on. There is no coming back from a cheater. Like usually women take back they're, they're cheater. You, however, honestly, it's best to just let them go. You can't forget what they did. A lot of girls forgive their boyfriends and they cheat again and again. Some guys don't cheat at all again. But it's just the heartache of knowing that a person cheated on you, like they gave their body. And sometimes they gave their emotions to somebody else that's not you. It's, it's really hard to come back from that. when he always wants to talk about himself and never you. You are not somebody he cares about. He doesn't want to know about you. He wants to use you as like a free therapist or something. Just remember that ladies. If he's not interested in you anymore in conversations, he's not interested in you anymore in real life. If communicating with you is just a daily chore to him, he doesn't want to be with you. If you text him and he waits you know, hours to text you back, he just doesn't want to be with you. I remember back in the past, um, I was involved in a relationship for years and years, and towards the end of it, I just didn't want to be with him. And he would text me, and I would blatantly text him like a couple hours down the road where I was like, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to sleep now, bye. Things like that. Thanks for watching. I hope I win. <laughs> oh, bye.